Hey, good morning, everybody. Today is January 28th, 2022. I want to share this dream with you. I just had when I woke up this morning. Okay, so I had a child with me, and I don't know whose child it was. It's, it, it just seemed like it was one of my grandchildren. But now I can't remember who it was. So, in the dream, something had happened. And I did not know, uh, in the dream, it didn't appear to be clear what had happened or what exactly was going on. But, I had to leave my house. So I was packing up my stuff. And I was taking, you know, I was trying to put as much stuff as I could in my car and had another car and I was trying to put some stuff in the car. You know, trying to take everything I could, but I don't think everything would fit. So just taking the stuff. So we drove away from the house. And, um, I was not, I uh, would not say that I was uh, particularly sad or anything like that, but as the day was going on, we kind of drove around, I don't, I, you know, there was no particular place I was driving to, but what I was sad about was that this child that was with me was going to actually have to experience having to sleep in the car, like having to live in the car and um I was sad for that and right when I thought about that I thought oh man you know she, I and I think it was a girl but I, I mean I don't know but I thought oh my gosh you know this child is just gonna have to experience sleeping in this car and I'm just I feel so bad you know I feel so bad and as soon as I did I had looked up and what I saw brought such joy and happiness to me. I uh, looked up and I saw all of these different worlds in the sky. There were numerous worlds. You call them planets if you want, but I'm calling them worlds. Because the Bible says God made the worlds. He says that. So if I, I, don't, I don't know the Bible scripture, uh, um, the exact book page number or anything like that. So you Google, go to your Google um, uh, line, go to your Google search bar and just type in God made the world's scripture and it will pull it up for you. So anyway, okay, so I'm seeing the worlds and I'm so excited. I said, oh my gosh, it's time. We're going home. We're going home. Yes, we're going home. Oh, I was so happy. I was so happy. I was going to go be with Jesus. I was going to go be with my father in heaven and his son, Jesus Christ. I was so happy. So I had this child by my hand and I wasn't letting this child go for nothing because I knew this child was going with me. So I saw a person. I was, we were uh, at that point we had been driving through like a parking lot. So, um, you know, we were, we were outside the car when I saw these worlds and I saw this other person in a car and I went over to the person in the car and said, get out, get out now, hurry, come on, you're not moving fast enough, get out, get out, look, you got to look. So they get out and they look and I said, this means Jesus is coming, we're leaving, we're leaving. I said, you better repent, you better repent. I mean, I was just like, really like, I mean, most people could have probably thought I was slapped nuts, right? Unless they looked up in the sky and they could see the worlds themselves. Oh my gosh. They were actually really beautiful. They were all over the place. This was daytime. This was daytime. You could see them clear as day. Just like, okay, so picture... Picture like how the moon looks, a full moon, and you can see it in the middle of the day, how close it looks. That's what these worlds look like. That's how close they looked. I mean, there were different colored ones and just, <clears throat> they're beautiful. They were everywhere. If I look to the 
to the south, they were there. If I turned around and looked to the north, they were there in the sky. No matter where in the sky I was looking, these worlds were everywhere. There were numerous ones. So then I started calling people on the phone that I know, that I had already told about these worlds were coming. And I call them on the phone. Remember, I told you, I told you they was coming. Go outside and look. There they are. There they are. It's time to go. I was so excited. And um, I saw one of my my sons. And um, when I when I when I found one of my sons, he was with a girl. And I said, you're going to be left behind. I said, you had a chance. I told you this was going to happen. You're going to be left behind. I told you. I told you. And then when I, um, I said, you know, because when he comes, you can't, you, you know, you, you sat here and you're acting like this. I said, you shouldn't have been doing this. You should have been prepared. You should have been ready. You're going to be left behind. You're going to be left behind. When I started saying that, then I started getting really sad. Um. I like started to cry and I started to cry out and I was, there was many people around that said, y'all be left behind. Oh my gosh. The ones who will be left behind. I am so sad for you. The ones who will be left behind. I'm so sad for what you're going to go through, for what you're going to have to experience. I was devastatedly sad. Oh my gosh. I was just. Oh, was the, the feeling that came upon me was just complete and utter sorrow for those who are going to be left behind and what they are going to experience. It's going to be catastrophic, horrendous. It's going to be nightmare upon nightmare upon nightmare what these people are going to go through. And most will be left behind. So, that's all I can remember of the dream. But I tell you this. Don't think for one minute. You know, if you if you look, uh, I don't have a TV. I haven't had, a, hadn't had a TV in years in my home. I don't watch TV, so obviously I don't have one. Because so, I don't partake of, of TV and the brainwashing nonsense that's on there. But I saw a news article on the um, the. Google feed. Oh, the, my gosh. NASA and all these people, they are such liars. They come out with these news articles quite often now. Quite often you can always say, oh, we found a new world. Oh, it's so many millions of light years away. Oh, wow. Look here. We we found another, another, another world. What we think, oh, is life possible on this world? And they say all these things. They put all these things out there. Okay. Let me tell you something. They know these worlds are about to be revealed. They do know the truth. But they put these false news articles out there. Just trying to put it out there. That, you know, it's possible here at these worlds. We, we, we found this planet or we found this exoplanet. Or we found this or we found that. Wow, it's so far away. No. They're liars. They know it's there. You know, the 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 um, Catholic Church, I believe it is, has the most powerful telescope there is. And I don't even know if you even call it a telescope. I think there's some kind of a special name for it. They have the most powerful one. I believe it's called Lucifer, but I'm not sure. Um, you could just type it up. You could type a Vatican uh, telescope or the most powerful telescope in the world or whatever. Ask yourself, why would they have the most? Listen, that's the synagogue of Satan right there, the Catholic churches. They know what's coming. They know the worlds are going to show up. They want to know how much time they got left. That's all that is. They know it's right here at the door. They know this thing's about to happen. And I'm telling you now, when you see it, oh, the other thing was, yes, when I was looking up and I could see all the worlds, the firmament 
you could literally see the firmament behind these worlds, you know, up above the worlds. You could see the firmament plain as day. There's water on top of the firmament. God has given me a dream before about the firmament. And I could literally see the water moving on top of the firmament. And, and again, in this dream, I could see the firmament plain as day. And you could see the water moving. It's like if you were to hold a plastic water bottle up and, you know, move the water around inside the bottle, you, it looked just like that, except it had more reflect, a refraction. I don't, I don't know the exact word, but the water was reflecting through this firmament. It's like it's glass or something. It's fantastically beautiful. And I tell you, this is the second time the Lord has showed me the firmament. So, um, I made a video about that a long time ago. People, these worlds are going to show up. Oh, I met another person. I remember I called, um, I called one of my friend, uh, old classmate. Her name was Susan, but I called Holly two moons. I called her on the phone. Um, and that's, 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 uh, I don't remember a conversation or her answering the phone, but I remember I, I got to call Holly. I got to call Holly. I, I, I'd say, oh, I got to call my mom. I got to call my mom. I mean, I had so much excitement. I couldn't dial the phone fast enough to, to call these people and say, look, it's here. They're here. They're here. You know, it's time to go. And I remember this child I had with me. I said, this child, you're sitting right here on my lap because you're going with me. You're going with me. I was so excited. I was so happy. Y'all, y'all I need to understand. I'm telling you, these worlds are going to be seen by everyone. Okay? So, you know, the worlds. God said in the Bible, he made the worlds. And I've been talking to one of my friends. You know, we're going back and forth about what these are. You know, are they... The, do the fallen angels live there? Are they the fallen angels? Are they stars? No. In my dream, I literally even was telling people, these are not stars. These are worlds. So, they looked beautiful in the sky. Now, is something evil going to come off of them? I don't know. I'm not here to even entertain even an opinion about that. I'm just telling you this. These worlds are going to appear they're going to be everywhere. Most people are going to be in just absolute awe and have no understanding. But I'm telling you now, when this happens, we, if you're ready, if you're ready, you're going to go, you're going to leave, you're going to go home. But you must be ready. One of my sons was found with a girl. And I'm telling you now, if you're found like that, you're not going. You're going to stay here and you will be going through the most horrific things since the, it's, that has never been ever before. The most horrific, horrifying events. Make sure you're ready. God bless you. God bless your family. and God bless your animals on this day. Be ready, people.